Hi, my name is Camila. Welcome to our morning stretches practice. On this next flow, you are going to open up that heart, wake up that body so we can be energized and ready for our day. So as we just woke up, our body might be feeling a little bit stiff, a little bit achy. So we want to start on a resting position. Roll your spine gently down towards the floor. Press your hips down and slowly you're going to bring both of your knees on top of your chest. Ground them around with your arms, press them firmly in. And you're going to start to rock softly side to side, swing your body softly from one side to the other. Maybe start doing some circles, rocking that lower back from one side to the other. Keeping those knees on top of your belly, on your chest. Very soft movements, just to break from any stiffness, any heaviness, any ache that we might still hold on to from that night. One more time, press it in, rock it forward, lift your lower back. Relax in, you're going to bring your knees a little bit wider to the sides of your body, press them in as if they are directed towards your shoulders and start making slightly bigger circles, separating both of your knees out, bring them in in the center, out, bring them in in the center, the other way around, just small movements without any tension, just putting some weight in, just movement in your hips in the center of our body. Nice. A few more to each side. You're gonna place those feet onto the ground. Nice. You're gonna start opening up those hips, twisting, dropping those knees onto the floor from one side to the other back into the center, separate your feet slightly more apart, bring one knee in and then the other. See how they fall, just follow it, the movement naturally. Don't press it in, just let those knees fall in. Now both feet goes together. Make sure that you can reach your heels with your hands. You're gonna cross your right foot over the left knee. Maybe this is enough stretch for you as you press that knee gently to the back. If you feel like it, you can bring your knee, left knee up towards your chest, both arms around that left knee, pressing in towards your chest. Feel that right hip, right glute opening up. A few more seconds, four, pressing that right knee down, three. Knee in, one more. Bring that left heel down towards the floor, right foot up. Left leg rises up. Try to keep it as stretched as possible. You point, you flex, point, flex activating those back leg muscles, calves and hamstrings. You can grab it either behind your hamstrings, behind your calves, or all the way on your foot. Try to bring that leg as straight as possible as you can towards your chest. Make sure that both of your hips are still pressing down towards the floor. Nice. Slowly bring it down, and one more time, we rock from one side to the other, relaxing it up. Yes, starting to put some movement on our body. You bring one knee in, the other. Just letting them go down. And back, heels, close to your hips, make sure that you can reach them with both of your hands. 
slowly going to reach out with that left leg place that heel over the right knee maybe this is enough as you press the knee against your body or you can bring that knee in grab around it with both of your hands up towards your chest trying to press that left knee towards the back seconds and with each exhale you try to bring that right knee closer closer to your chest <sighs> embrace that tension send oxygen to where you feel that stiffness <sighs> one more breath Gently press that heel back down to the floor. Both feet in. The right leg is going to extend all the way to the top. You point, you flex, point, flex. Activating those muscles. And the same either behind your hamstring, calf, or foot, wherever it feels more comfortable to you. You bring that leg as straight as possible if it's still bent it is also okay just try to feel that stretch and that posterior leg opening up nice. slowly bring it down place both of your palms down towards the mat Again, heels close to your hips. We're gonna go for a bridge position. You're going to lift your hips up as you press your heels down. Try to wiggle your shoulders a little bit close in together and start engaging your lower ab muscles, glutes, your legs. I'm gonna bring all that new energy to take up on the day, get that blood flowing. Hold it at the top, pushing your hips up, heels down, hold it four, hold it three, hold it two, hold it one, slowly bring your hips down. Loosen up those shoulders from under the floor and slowly we come up onto a seated position. You're going to place your right heel in front of your left. Open up your spine. Roll your shoulders. Make sure that your chest is wide open. And you're going to twist to that same right side with both of your legs. Palm pushing that knee down. Try to look back at your shoulder. If you want to keep your eyes closed, you can keep your eyes closed. Whatever feels more comfortable for you. Lift that neck and we go back towards the center. Butterfly fold. Lean down. Extend your arms walk them forward sink in that lower back the same with every inhale and exhale we try to deepen the stretch one more moment seeing if you can extend reach out a little bit farther away with those fingers are feeling the openness also on the back on those shoulder blades the sides of your spine and slowly walk it back nice. gonna alternate you're gonna bring your right in your left at the top roll your shoulders once more make sure that your chest is big wide and open you're gonna rotate to the left side my right arm is going to push my left knee back and in towards the center. Twisting that torso. Try to look towards the back. 
chin up. Butterfly fold, we walk it out forward. It's normal that one of the sides is gonna feel a little bit stiffer than the other. Try to hold one or two extra breaths on the side that it's a bit stiffer, that you find you have a little bit more of tension. And just deepen through the movement. When it starts to feel a bit more relaxed, then you start to see if you can walk slightly further away with your fingers, with your hands. <sighs> Pushing down. Relax, there can be a mild discomfort, but no pain, we're not over pushing it. Just waking up that body. very slowly we're gonna walk it back to our position we're gonna do a few rolls of the neck and to the other side down and back up towards the center we're gonna move on towards a tabletop position. You're gonna bring your hands right under your shoulders, my knees under my hips. You're gonna bring your toes in. Then you're gonna to come towards a floating tabletop position. You're gonna lift your knees. I'm gonna show you again. You lift your knees from the floor, embracing that core tight in, holding it, making sure that I have straight spine three two one you bring your knees down you bring your hands slightly more forward ahead of your shoulders lifting once more floating tabletop position moving into a plank position holding it four holding it three holding it two holding it one Moving on to a downward dog position. Trying to bring your heels down towards the floor. Opening up that back, stretching up. Try to bring those knees in, back. Starting to stretch up, open up all of that posterior train. Curl your spine back onto a high plank position. Try to bend those knees. Tabletop floating position back down towards the floor bring your hips to the back drop your elbows relax in four in three in two we go back up again hands a little bit more forward than your shoulders lift your knees floating tabletop position hold it for a few breaths inhale in through your nose out through your mouth Trying to extend those legs into a high plank position. Again, a few more seconds. Straight body from the tip of your head all the way to your tailbone. Heels go down. Trying to open up, press those fingers so we're not sliding away. Look into that belly button. Pressing those heels down. See what feels good right now for your body. Try to bend one knee, the other. We're gonna go one more time. Back to your high plank. Bend those knees, floating tabletop position. Back to your normal tabletop. Drop those elbows down. Maybe you wanna place that forehead down onto your mat to relax that neck for a moment. And we go one more time back to your tabletop position, floating tabletop position, back to your high plank, hold it, 
we're gonna go a bit different adding an extra movement down towards the downward dog trying to place those heels down onto the floor fingers pressing in towards the mat gazing at that belly button now you're gonna bring your right foot up you want to stretch up lift it up extend that leg flex it bring it back in and you're gonna bring it in place it right in between your hands press those hips forward down make sure that you find your balance you feel comfortable in this position place those toes firmly down towards the mat bring that heel down towards the other side nice and you're going to raise up warrior one position press that heel down one arm towards the back extend both one arm right on the side of the other look towards the back in three two one we go back down you're going to bring both of your feet together at the front trying to extend both of your legs as straight as possible take one moment half lift try to stretch that spine we go back down slightly bend your knees pushing from your heel curl your spine back up open up your shoulders three rolls to the back two one both palms together open up towards the top towards the ceiling arch up chest forward Putting some tension up on that spine. Back into the center. Nice, you're gonna bring your hips towards the back. Weight on your heels. You're going to bring your hands next to your ears. Diagonal towards the front. Try to bring them as far up as you can. You should feel slight burn, a slight burn slight discomfort on the sides of your spine just well coming up <sighs> the activation of all those back muscles and we extend our legs bring your palms together one more time stretch it to the back bring it back to the center lean down <sighs> gonna walk it back and we're gonna start one more time on that table Floating tabletop position. Back to your plank. Nice. Downward dog. Making sure that you're pressing down those fingers, those heels down. Nice. Back to that plank. Floating tabletop position. Back to your tabletop. Bring your elbows down. Relax. And rest that forehead down in. We're gonna go one more time. The opposite side. So you're gonna bring it back. Tabletop position. Floating tabletop position. Toes back in back towards your high plank hold it straight straight line downward dog keeping those heels down pressing that body looking at that belly button lifting that left leg straight bend it you can flex it pointed it, moving rotate it big towards the side just stretch up Open up that left side of the body. Hold it for a moment. And bring that left foot in between both of your hands. Making sure that you find your balance. You bring that back heel down on towards the floor. Pushing your hips forward. Find your center. Press down onto the mat. 
Now you're going to bring that body up, warrior one. Pressing from that heel. Open up, rotate that body. Gaze towards the back. Relax shoulders, one arm, and one hand right in front of the next. Pressing down from that heel. Push those hips down. Four, three, two, and we go back down. Both hands next to your feet, and you bring that right foot next to the left. Extend both of those legs together. You can work a little bit with those knees, bend them one and the other. Yes. I'm gonna lift, half lift, stretch up that spine, roll it back down. And slowly bend your knees, slowly curl your spine back up. Straight up position, roll your shoulders. Three, two, one. Palms together, open up towards the ceiling, arch. Open up that chest as tall as possible. And you're gonna bring those hips towards the back one more time, hips towards the back. Pushing from your heels, open up your chest, shoulders facing forward, bringing both of your hands next to your ears, trying to create a straight diagonal. Looking up. And right now, see if your arms can go slightly more towards the back. Don't look down, always look forward, following the same line as your spine. And we push your heels, bring it out towards the sides. We go one more time back down. Nice. Stretch up those legs. We're gonna walk it back into a high plank position. We go cobra. Slide towards the front. Place those hips down. Open up that core. Place your toes down. Downward dog. Curl your spine back up into a high plank cobra. Slide alongside the floor, place those feet down, open up that chest. Maybe the second time you can sit towards one side, the other. Compress, lose the tension on your neck, toes up, hips up, heels down. And we go for one more, back to that high plank, elbows in, chest down, slide alongside the floor, rest your feet, open up that chest. Place your toes up, back onto a tabletop position, moves onto a child pose. Make sure that your ribs, your body, your torso fits in between both of your knees. Take a big breath. Press that forehead down onto the floor. And reach out with your hands, your fingers, away from your body. And slowly we curl our spine back up. Last thing that comes up is your neck. We go back to a cross-legged position. One more time. Wherever you feel comfortable. Our body is fully warmed up now. Try to catch your breath. Big inhales. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. Out through your mouth, both hands 
on your chest, on your heart. Keep bringing that heart rate down, keeping those deep inhales through your nose and big exhales through your mouth. Coming back to your center, feeling that warmth, that energy throughout your entire body. Thank you so much for joining me in this practice and I hope you have a beautiful, energizing day.